Using Visual SFM, I'm able to create a sparse point cloud of an object in 3D space, which has been photographed from multiple angles. The more angles used, the more informed the point cloud becomes, and the more it begins to resemble the object being reconstructed. From these point clouds, we can generate a three-dimensional mesh and even project textures from the photographs onto it. Now in Agisoft, you can see that the object is beginning to look like an object. The more photographs and the more dense the mesh, the more detail is in the object, but this also means there's a certain amount of artifacting. Specular highlights seem to be a problem as the software can't solve exactly where they are and it creates a bit of noise. Exporting meshes from multiple data sets and different angles allows me to grab details from sides which would have been in shadow or didn't solve as well. I've taken all of these meshes and aligned them together here and then done a bit of sculpting by hand using the drag tool and bubble smoothing filters I'm able to press the less accurate parts of the mesh away revealing the scans which were more successful for certain details. This is a bit of a manual process. But as you can see, the end result, I think, is worth it. This is Paleo Paradoxia, ready for print. I even added a name. Thanks for watching.